Hey guys, Serena here with the Fitness Institute of Texas, and today we're going over a dynamic warm up. While I'll do the exercises, I'll explain a little bit about the purpose of the dynamic warm up and also what the exercises are working. Let's get started. All right, we're going to start jogging in place. We want to raise our heart rate, increase our blood pressure, get our blood flowing to our muscles. If you have an intense workout, you want your dynamic work warm up to match the intensity. So really getting that heart rate going. Nice. We're going to transition to high knees, opening up our hip flexors. Deep breaths throughout the whole warm up. Slowing it down. We're still doing high knees, but this time with a little bit of holds. Nice job, waking up those hips. From here, we're gonna transition into butt kicks at a similar speed as our first one. Nice, fast, landing on the balls of your feet. Here we go, three, two, and one. Waking up our quads now, keeping that nice, fast intensity. Dynamic warm-ups are important to do before every workout. They decrease the chance of injury and increase performance. Nice job. Butt kick holds in three, two, and one. Grabbing our foot to our bottom, holding that there, other side. There we go. It's important to take deep breaths throughout the whole warm up. We're not trying to make you tired, we're just waking up our muscles. All right, next exercise we're going to do is our hamstring work warm up. So we're going in our base stance, taking a step forward, our toes are pointing to the ceiling, hinging at our hips. Back into our base stance. Opposite leg, toes to the ceiling, hinging at the hips. Front. At a nice, fast pace. Here we go. Again, remember, you want to match your intensity. If you have a really intense workout coming up, you want to go at a nice, fast pace. Of course, get the technique down first. Remember to hinge at those hips. Keep that core tight. Tabletop back. Here we go. In three, two, one. Go ahead and transition into our jump ropes. Really getting explosive off our ankles. We're waking them up. Our ankle never gets any love. There we go, guys. Nice job, base stance, shoulder width apart, toes are pointed forward. We're touching the inside of our heel and opening up our chest to the other side. This is gonna loosen up and warm up our hips and opening up our chest, back, a little bit of everything. Get that technique down first and then increase the intensity. Nice job. Hips are really important to warm up before workout because you use it in almost all movements and it's often the tightest part of the body. Really sitting into that side, similar to a side lunge. Nice job. From our base stance, we're transitioning into tornadoes. So staying that shoulder width apart you're gonna rotate, keeping your core tight, getting full rotation of your thoracic spine, adding your ankle and your hip rotations. Palms facing the ground. Exhale, turn to the other side. Core is tight, 
full rotation, palms to the ground, hip and ankle rotation. Get a nice rhythm as you get more comfortable with technique. Increase speed. <sighs> nice job. Very important to keep your core tight throughout this whole exercise so that you do not injure your back. Keep taking deep breaths. From here, we're transitioning into ice skaters, challenging yourself to stay on one leg on the hop. Toes are pointed forward. You're getting deep into those squats. You're working on ankle stability, activating your quads, core is tight, chest is proud. Full body warm up. As you get more comfortable, increase speed. If this is difficult, tap your other foot behind you. It gives you some extra balance. Awesome. Going into that base stance, we'll do a little bit of upper body work. Here we're gonna do some goal post or scaption. So going into that cactus position, elbows are at 90 degrees, opening and closing. Elbows are going a little bit past your shoulders, but only slightly. Deep breaths. Nice, fast pace. Remember to keep that core engaged by pulling your belly button into your spine. Nice job. Here we are. We're going to go into shoulder rolls. So we're starting with big circles. Forward. We're going forward. Waking up our shoulders and we're transitioning into smaller circles. Deep breaths. All right, now we're going backwards, big circles. Here we go, into smaller circles. Nice job, guys. Perfect, we did our upper body, now we're gonna do front butt, which is another full body exercise. You're planting your right foot down, taking a step with your left foot, Keeping a bend in your knees, but digging those feet into the ground. You're reaching for the sky, hinging at those hips. I like to say scooping up some sand, keeping that core tight, glutes engaged, coming back up. You should feel this in your hips and your ankles and your core everywhere. Reaching for the sky, hinging at those hips and coming back up. Deep breaths throughout the whole exercise. Here we go, I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see me. Keeping that nice tabletop back. Nice job, guys. And from here, we're going to open up the chest. So keeping your feet planted the same way, we're going to the right, getting full opening of our chest, coming back to the middle. Again, core is tight but you're getting full rotation of your spine. Deep breaths, feet are staying planted. Everywhere from the hips down should be nice and stable. Toes are pointed forward. I like to do mini toe checks. Nice job. And from here, we're gonna lean over to the side. Core is tight, hips are squared up back and forth, stretching out our obliques, our lats. Deep breaths. Remember to keep those glutes nice and tight and you're digging those feet into the ground the whole time. Nice job. Switching feet, your left is going back, your right is going forward, we're repeating it with the same side. Reaching for the sky, hinging at those hips, coming back up. Oh, nice. Deep breaths. Remember to squeeze those glutes. Nice 
After this one, we're gonna open our chest. Here we go. Remember keeping that core tight. Feet are nice and planted, as stable as possible. And leaning over to the side. Hips are squared forward, giving a nice long stretch to the side of our body. Awesome job today, guys. Thanks for working with me. That is a dynamic warm-up.